Hi and welcome back everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic day out there. I am urging everyone to listen to this video because I am about to paint a picture for you in which this market is standing. Okay, so first off, what is happening here? What is happening in the world? We've got SWIFT coming out and talking about tokenization and how everything, every single industry, art, music, et cetera, et cetera, will be tokenized. We already know what BlackRock has already said about this. We know which way Fidelity is going. Tokenization of everything. Ripple, let's get into that. Ripple president, because tokenization of everything, right? But Ripple president just came out the other day and said, they are extremely optimistic about the case of Ripple versus SEC and that it will be completed this year and that there is a very, very unlikely probability that the SEC will win. What is the SEC doing right now? They're going after Coinbase. They're getting crazy. They have come unleashed and it is getting absolutely crazy. Meanwhile, overseas, there's two big players in the world. And I think you probably know who I'm talking about. Let me know in the comments section below. I'll give you the thumbs up if you're right or not. But basically partnering against us. What comes next when we talk about financials, when we talk about currencies, let me know what you think in the comments section below. But as this is all happening, CBDCs are getting pushed here in the U.S. where I'm located. Now, along with that, we've got the majority whip on our side. Going to bat for blockchain, going to bat for crypto, pushing out bills to push along crypto with soft regulation. Along with that, Ron DeSantis, say what you want about him. Do I agree with him on every single issue and every single stance? Absolutely not. When it comes to crypto, it comes to blockchain, yes, I do. And yes, he is our friend when it comes to crypto. I want to put that out there because I did get a couple comments in one of my last videos about Ron DeSantis not being such a good individual in certain situations. Okay, leave that aside. We're talking crypto on this channel right now. Uh, he is for blockchain tech. ISO recently went live. The market starts to pop. What happens? Manipulation comes in. They try to pour negativity towards us. But how is the market responding now? Pushing back. We're starting to see little glimpses of that. We're starting to see us get to those points of resistance and we are about to pop through them in my personal opinion because now we have individuals out there, big positions and big places coming out to bat for us. So this year in 2023, when we talk about this year, there will be a lot of losses, but more victories. Last year in 2022, we had pretty much all losses. We were in a nasty crypto winter. As we all know, it's been a harsh, cold crypto winter. But now we're starting to fight back. And now regulation is moving along much faster than what we initially anticipated. Why? Because everything happening in the world at a macro economic level. And so, yes, when I say things are heating up and this is very urgent and I urge you to listen and understand what is happening every day, I mean it. Okay, I'm not just, look, I don't get paid by Ripple. I don't get paid by Stellar. I never have. But XRP and XLM are winners in this game. And that is 100% my personal opinion. I know a lot of you that come to this channel believe the same. And I can't think of two safer cryptocurrencies to be in right now and to average into. So right now, I'm consistently buying and buying and buying and buying. And I will continue to buy until these fireworks go off. 
but I'll never sell. That's all I got for you for now. Please don't forget to like and subscri subscribe. Ugh, can't even talk right now. If you like this type of content, and I'll see you in the next one.